warm greetings to all my dear students i hope all my students have studied all the chapters and topics in the first year textbook and you are ready for the exams here i am back with a short video clip i hope that this video clip will help you to revisit some of the topics in your first year textbook particularly a few discourses in the first block of your first year textbook i believe that this session will help you to enhance your learning process will help you to score more marks in your exam the first block comprises four beautiful chapters and a beautiful anecdote from the life of abraham lincoln the entire first block speaks about some of the personality traits which help a person a student to become successful in his or her life to become a great human being or those traits which help a person to scale heights which help a person to become a perfect human being these personality traits these qualities can be considered as undying qualities which help a human being to become successful in his or her life so we can say that the entire first block speaks about some ageless qualities some undying qualities which help us to go ahead and which help us to acquire greatness in our life i hope you all know the important personality traits which help a person to become successful in his or her life if i ask you this particular question what are the traits which help a person to become successful in his or her life you will definitely come up with the answer with so many personality traits what are those personality traits the first trait that comes to our mind is confidence each and every one should have confidence should have tremendous belief in one's abilities then only that person can think about achieving his attaining his goal there are so many other traits perseverance hard work strong will power or determination willingness to take initiative and so many other traits so the first block deals with all these traits almost all the chapters deal with some of these traits to become a successful person to become a great human being it is not very easy it requires lot of effort from each and every individual hard work is very important or perseverance is very important so there is a slight difference between hard work and perseverance perseverance means you continue your effort hard work you can work for a day or for a month it is possible for almost all human beings but perseverance is something different even though you are tired due to your hard work you are out there to continue your work you are exhausted again you are ready to work hard this is perseverance you will never give up you will work hard until you achieve your target so this is perseverance so perseverance is an undying quality which helps a person to become successful in his or her life strong will power strong determination to achieve the target that is also another undying quality another ageless quality which helps a person to become successful in his life which helps a person to scale heights which helps a person to become a perfect human being so the first block speaks about all these traits 
which help a person to become successful. It also speaks about some of the qualities that a person has to imbibe, some of the values that a person has to imbibe. This is another important area, important aspect discussed in the first block. So when we come to the chapters, there are four chapters and apart from all these four chapters, there is one beautiful anecdote, an anecdote from the life of Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of United States of America. We all know Abraham Lincoln had so many tragic experiences in his life. When he was just nine, he lost his mother. When he was 12, he lost his younger brother. When he was 19, he lost his elder sister. When he was 23, he lost in his first election. After a couple of years, that means when he was just 25, he failed in his business. Then when he was 26, his sweetheart died. After that, he had a nervous breakdown. Then two of his kids, two of his children died. So there was a series of tragedies in his life. There was a series of tragic incidents in his life. But finally, he emerged victorious. He was elected the President of United States of America in 1860. He became the 16th President of United States of America. And when you think about his education, he had only a meager formal education. He learned everything from his life. He learned everything from reading and reciting. He learned everything from the world around him and he became a lawyer. So in spite of all these hardships, in spite of all these difficulties, in spite of his poverty-stricken childhood, he worked hard, he had strong willpower, he had strong perseverance, strong determination, and finally he was elected the President of United States of America. Whenever I speak about the first block in your English textbook, the first block in the first year English textbook, I often consider it as not just an introduction to your higher secondary English course books, but an introduction to the entire higher secondary course. Because here this block speaks about all those traits, all those values which students have to acquire in their life. All those traits which help students to become successful in their life. All those values that students have to uphold to become perfect human beings. And that is the reason why I often consider this particular block as an introduction to the entire higher secondary course, introduction to the higher secondary course in Kerala. When you think about the first passage, the first discourse in your text, the title of that discourse is Ab's First Speech, a beautiful anecdote from the life of Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was a well-known statesman. He was the 16th president of the United States of America. And besides all these attributes, Abraham Lincoln is still hailed as Father Abraham by philanthropes all over the world because he was the man who abolished slavery in United States of America. So he is hailed as Father Abraham not only by the African Americans in US, not only by the American citizens, but by the people, the philanthropes all over the world, the people who love mankind. So the first discourse, 
app's first speech deals with his first public performance his first public speech he was a boy he was barefooted he wore trousers with one suspender and an unkempt mass of hair projecting out through a hole in the crown of his hat he didn't bother about his physical appearance he along with his friend dennis hanks his rail splitting companion dennis hanks went to a public meeting which was addressed by a seasoned political stump speaker a professional stump speaker at the end of the speech which did not meet the views of either dennis hanks or abraham lincoln dennis hanks stepped forward and he made a declaration that his friend app could make a better speech than the seasoned political stump speaker he pushed a box to the sender and immediately after that abraham lincoln stood on that box goods box and delivered a beautiful speech which earned a huge applause from the crowd even the seasoned stump speaker admitted that it was a better speech so here abraham lincoln could outshine could outsmart a seasoned political stump speaker so here abraham lincoln he did not bother about his physical appearance he did not bother about his financial status he had tremendous faith in his abilities that means he was very confident another important trait which helps a person to become successful in his or her life he has strong will power he has that willingness to take the initiative that means he was willing to step forward he was willing to take the first step he came forward he stood on that box goods box and delivered a wonderful speech so in the very first discourse itself we find certain traits which help a person to become successful in his or her life the important traits highlighted in the first discourse are confidence we should have tremendous faith in our abilities the second trait we should have the courage to come forward the third trait we should be willing to take the initiative fourth trait we should not bother about our physical appearance looks here do not matter and another important aspect most of the students have noticed here is the support that he got from his friend dennis hanks so dennis hanks was a real friend who was able to identify the true potential of abraham lincoln and dennis hanks considered abraham lincoln as one of the finest men who lived on this planet he considered him as the best man who lived on this earth he was a true friend a true friend is someone who comes in when all the others go out a true friend is someone who finds out your real potential someone who helps you to scale heights someone who helps you to realize your true potential in that sense dennis hanks can be considered as a true friend of abraham lincoln a man who was not at all jealous of abraham lincoln who was not at all jealous of the qualities of the potential of abraham lincoln so 
in the first discourse we have come across some of the traits which help a person to become successful and the support that we need the support that we need to realize our true potential when we move to the first chapter his first flight by Liam of Flaherty a very famous Irish short story writer and novelist a very famous Irish author the title of the chapter is his first flight it speaks about a young seagull and his family it speaks about a young seagull who was afraid to take its first flight on the surface you find the story very simple because it deals with a young seagull and his family but symbolically it represents the nervousness that each and every person experiences before embarking on something new before beginning something new it is the nervousness that we all experience before beginning something new the young seagull was afraid to take his first flight even though his siblings had already flown away he was alone on the ledge he tried hard but unfortunately he couldn't take his first flight his parents persuaded him to take his first flight he didn't have the courage to take the first step to take his first flight another interesting aspect is that he had larger wings than his siblings clearly indicates that he had potential he had greater potential than his siblings but unfortunately he didn't have the courage to take his first flight so his parents scolded him they called him in a shrill voice they threatened him to starve on the ledge etc they tried so many tactics but the vast expanse of sea the vast expanse of sea frightened him he moved towards the edge of the ledge but when he looked down he saw the vast expanse of sea the vast stretch of sea when he saw it then he was afraid to take his first flight he ran back to the safety of the hole in that ledge now the parents did not give him any food he had been starving on the ledge since previous nightfall so he was very hungry he saw his parents helping his siblings to master the art of flight he saw his parents helping his siblings to dive for the fish helping the siblings to master the art of skimming over the waves so three lessons that a young seagull has to master these three lessons are very important for a young seagull the first one a young seagull has to master the art of flight for its survival it has to master the art of flight the second thing it has to master the art of diving for the fish it is also very important for its survival and the last one it has to master the art of skimming over the waves because seagulls they have to travel a great distance they have to fly over the vast expanse of oceans fly over the vast expanse of sea probably they will get exhausted they will get tired then they have to land smoothly on the water surface and they have to master that art of skimming over the waves so these three lessons are very important for the survival of a young seagull and the parents taught these siblings those three valuable lessons that would help these young seagulls to become self-reliant 
So that is a very important theme which gets highlighted in the story to become self-reliant. So this is a great lesson that parents have to teach their children. Just think about that beautiful Chinese proverb, give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. Teach him to fish, you feed him for a lifetime, clearly speaks about the importance of self-reliance. So when we go through the story, initially we find the parents ruthless. We may feel the parents ruthless, merciless, cruel, but they were not cruel. They resorted to various tactics, various strategies to help the young seagull to take his first flight. Now, these parents threatened the young seagull to starve on the ledge and the seagull was starving on the ledge. Then the mother seagull took a piece of fish, she flew towards him and she halted just above the young seagull, out of his reach. Maddened by hunger, the young seagull dived for the fish and he made his first flight. So here the parents, particularly the mother. Here the parents, the mother seagull was successful in arousing the need in the young seagull. We all know necessity is the mother of invention. So here the need was aroused in the young seagull by the parents. The young seagull had been starving for the last few days and it was maddened by hunger. So the need to fly, the need to fly was aroused in the young seagull by his parents, by his mother. So the parents were not ruthless. They wanted their young son to take his first flight. So this is a very important lesson that the parents have to teach their children. Parents can support us. They can support us to a great extent, but not forever. After some time, each and every person has to shoulder the responsibility, step out of the comfort zone, step out of the safety of their houses and face the life, face the risks and the challenges and try their level best to overcome all these challenges and to stand on their own feet. They should become self-reliant. So self-reliance is a very important theme which gets highlighted in the story his first flight. Another important theme which gets projected in the story is confidence. We should have faith in our abilities. Even though the young seagull had larger wings than his siblings, he didn't have any faith in his abilities. He didn't have any faith in his wings. So, we should have faith in our abilities. This is very important for a person to become successful, to become a great human being. And another important theme, another important idea which gets emphasized in the story is the importance of being involved in our family. We need the support of our family members. We need the support of our parents to realize our true potential. In the first discourse, Ab's first speech, we came across the support offered to Abraham Lincoln by his friend Dennis Hanks. 
when we come to the second discourse in the first block, we come across the support given to the young seagull by his parents, by his siblings. So, each and every human being needs support from the family members, needs support from friends, needs support from the people in the society, support from the society. So, the first two discourses in the first block deal with so many important traits which help a person to scale heights, which help a person to venture into new avenues. You can expect certain questions. The first one prepare a speech on the traits which help a person to become successful in life. The second one, you can also expect an email from these two discourses. Prepare an email to one of your friends sharing the experience of the nervousness of uh, the young seagull and how he has overcome that nervousness. It also, you can also expect certain write-ups. The role of parents in helping the children to realize the true potential. That is another question that you can expect, a direct question. The role of parents in helping the young ones to realize the true potential. The role of parents in helping the children to become self-reliant. So, these are some of the questions that you can expect in your final examination from the first two discourses in your first block. That's all for the day.